Hey everybody, this is Jen Broski, and I am going to be doing an, a quick playthrough of Mushroom Kingdom Fusion. Mushroom Kingdom Fusion is a game that was developed by Judge Spear several years ago as a bit of a fan game, actually. However, this fan game turned into a really big game. He even dedicated a YouTube channel just to this game and the people who are helping him work on this game have links to their channel which I'll be sure to provide a link to Judge Spear's channel as well as the official Mushroom Kingdom Fusion channel in the description below. Or to the side or wherever YouTube's going to put the description in the future. But in any case, um, I'm going to go ahead and do a bit of a playthrough on this game and go see how far I can get. This is version point. 53 as you can see on the upper left corner um, This is honestly my first time doing a, a Video playthrough of any game, so I'm looking forward to seeing exactly how this turns out But in any case Let's go and get this started Mushroom Kingdom Fusion is a game that blends together various platforming games from the 16-bit era, and I believe the 32-bit era, the Super Nintendo, and the Sega Genesis era, in other words. So we'll be seeing a lot of Super Mario levels and characters, as well as Sonic the Hedgehog, Mega Man, and all the other fun stuff. And there's no telling what other surprises we may see in the near future. But in any case, let's go ahead and get this game started and see what kind of surprises lay in wait. Now, I'm not exactly used to keyboard controls on a platformer, so this might end badly. Yeah, kind of like that. I mean, I'm not too bad at games like this, but it's going to take me a while to get used to keyboard controls, and so far, I'm actually doing pretty nicely. I don't need to be making risks like that. If I get too cocky, I may just wind up jumping off and killing myself in any case, or I may just get rid of, get rid of a tool that could have been used to help me. In any case, let's just go ahead and not get too cocky and arrogant. Ooh, feather! I can use that. Little piranha plant. Eat fire to the face. Hey! Haha! -ha! And I just ran out of my limit for the coins, so that was kind of a waste. Just going to see, take care of these guys. Power block. Hey. Ooh, yeah. We got Judge Spear. We got Judge Spear's initials here. I, yeah, I played a little bit of this level, but I didn't get too much further than this level. So I don't know what kind of surprises are going to be laying in wait. I actually got up to uh, Subcon Panic, which I believe is the fourth level of this world. But I got to that world on my old computer, and I just missed the star. Go me. My old computer couldn't even handle this. My old computer was bad. I mean, it was it was just it. Well, we're seeing right now how the game is running smoothly. My old computer, without recording or anything else running, would be recording this at five. Pr would be playing this game at five frames, five frames per second. So my old computer was the definition of horrible. Sucked. Got a stick a block here. You jump and we don't get the one up. Go me. And that's the first level. Alright, the second level is the Goomba Mines. Now some of us may actually be familiar with this level. I know I will be. Alright, let's see if anyone can guess what why this level would be so familiar. Alright, got it. Look familiar yet? That jump certainly looks familiar to me. Ooh. 
Any guesses? This is actually the same level. I believe it's in the third world? Or the fourth world? Maybe it's the fifth world of the first... How did that happen? I believe this is the... An exact replica of the... I believe this is the exact replica of the... Underground level in world... Five of the first Super Mario Brothers game. As such, we should be all too familiar with this level and its little secrets. This level, this level, this level actually brings back a lot of memories. If I recall correctly, there's this, there's supposed to be a secret in one of these blocks, like a coins or like an item or something. Yep, right there. Um, rupees. Rupees in this game are actually a currency. You actually use the rupees to purchase power-ups! Which I can use a no-death power-up right about now. Okay, let's try this again. You can actually spend so many rupees to purchase various power-ups that are in the game. I can't remember what power-ups are in this game, but as we know, there's a fire flower, a leaf, uh, from what I've seen on Judge Spears' videos, a uh, Mega Man power-up, which grants us, which every character has a unique Mega Man power-up, which, such as Mario ha actually turns into Mega Man, Luigi turns into Proto Man, um, Sonic turns into Quick Man, uh, I'm pretty sure we all should have seen that one coming. And I can't remember who else we see. I can't remember who else has a power-up and what their power-ups are. Not every character has every power-up, though. Some characters probably doesn't have a Mega Man power-up. Some characters probably doesn't have a Leaf power-up. Some characters probably don't have a... You know, not every character has every power-up, so... Alright. But in any case, this game has all sorts of interesting little tricks to it. All sorts of little secrets and just all sorts of things going for it. It's definitely worth a shot if you are into platformers and games of this genre. God damn it! I need to quit getting so cocky. Sorry for my cussing. I'm going to have to apologize now because I don't want people to begin angry at me because I'm cussing. Because I'm cussing up, because I'm being a little dirty foul mouth, being all angry and butthurt because I can't get my way, just like everyone else. Man. <laughs> wow, I just cannot get my way. Ooh. Oh, I forgot I have a flower up there. Oh yeah, you are helpful. Made it. Jumped, bounced on your head, made it to the platform, and I go, ha! Ah! That's what I get for being cocky. I, I didn't get to the secret. Oh, happy day. And, well, at least I got 200 points for all that. <laughs> How exciting. 200 points. Um, in this game, I don't think the score system really matters, unless you're aiming for like a high score on a certain level, which I think, yep, from the looks of things, the score, the score does carry over, so. And we're going to go ahead and save our game. Looks like we're allowed eight game, game saves, so let's go and save it on lucky number seven, because I may need all the luck in the world. <laughs> All right, but anyway, uh, where are we? Nine minutes. It looks like we're gonna have to fight a hammer, bro. So let's go ahead and kick. Let's go ahead and beat this guy up. And I think this is going to be about the end of the video. And the hammer bros fight. It's just like the hammer bros on Super Mario Bros. Three. Got him. So if you're familiar with those fights, then those fights should be real easy. But in any case, that's the end of my video, and next time we'll be going to the transit way. So I'll see you guys next time. Let's save the game again. Oh yeah. <laughs>